Okay, so we're going to create the rays around the sun. We're going to click the brush tool and open the panel, which is this one, but the shortcut is the F5 function key, just so you know. And we are going to click on transfer and change this to fade. And that means that as you drag along, the paint will fade. Okay, in the opacity jitter section. Okay, choose a color for the brush using the color panel. So this is just to demonstrate a different method. So here's the color panel. We were on swatches. This is the color panel. And when you go across this little strip, you get this rainbow. And how it works is if I click and hold, do you see the color change in this one here? We want this to be active, the foreground color. So if it isn't, see how that one is chosen. We have to click on it to get the little border around it. And then we're picking a color. So any color near the top of this has a lot of white in it. As you move down, it becomes saturated. As you move further down, it's going to have black in it. But what we're supposed to get for this is like a reddish brown color. Yeah, reddish brown color. So that looks reddish brown to me. So when I release, it's here in the foreground and it's here in this foreground. So now we can actually uh, do what we're supposed to. So we've got the brush tool. We want to airbrush and set opacity to 50%. And again, we can just roll along on here and flow to about 30. Just roll it along on there. And then we are going, we have a soft brush. And let's zoom in. I'm going to use my left bracket key. And I'm going to draw the rays. Now, I guess my color is not as dark as uh, his color because, or maybe my brush is a little smaller. That's okay. Right, so we've done the rays and now we're ready for the sky. So we're going to work with gradient fill modes as we create a background sky. With the painting layer, the active layer. So the painting layer is the active layer. Make sure that this is not locked in. Now we've never locked it, so so it shouldn't be, but if I was to lock it, it sort of looks pressed in. It's just saying make sure that the option is off and not pressed in. So check, we've got that. And now we are going to double click here and we're going to take the rectangle marquee tool draw a selection marquee from the horizon line to the top of the image here. Choose the gradient tool. We're going to make sure we're on linear here. And we're going to, I think it means to come in here and choose Violet, violet, green, orange. There, violet, green, orange. Okay, we're going to select that one and say OK. Make sure that these ones are not checked and drag downward to apply. Okay, and we get a gradient, and then it says undo it, okay, and select opacity of 60%, and reverse option, and drag down again. Okay, that looks better, but I believe we're going to undo it again 
<laughs> and the trouble is it's coming over our mountains and over here so and actually just show that again see how it's going over the mountains and the Sun so this is where this mode behind comes in handy so it's like we're on a transparent layer and it's the equivalent instead of painting on the front of the acetate sheet we're painting on the back so now in behind it goes behind you can't you see it better with the Sun that it's in front okay and then we're going to deselect and now we're on to the desert floor it says select to select use the rectangular marquee I'm a little bit off there but it shouldn't matter because actually maybe I better be more careful all right select a light brown or tan color from the swatches there we go it's in the foreground so that should be good select a paintbrush a large soft brush large soft brush okay we got a big one too big <laughs> and again we want to be behind so that the cactus it, so that it it comes out behind the cactus and behind the coyote and if I'm not mistaken I you know I'm I'm turning this back up okay and just getting my desert floor and I don't have to worry about going outside the lines you can see I'm off a bit in my selection but for the purpose of the video let's keep going and then last page texture on the desert floor by defining a custom brush I'll deselect this I'll come to the drawing layer because I want to select on the drawing layer and what I want to select so I'm going to hide this color in here and I am going to get these two right there so those are selected and I'm going to go to edit define brush preset I'm going to call it sun rays and OK now I'm going to go to the brush just to show you that it's at the bottom right there okay and now we want to go into the panel so F5 or here and brush tip shapes brush tip shapes spacing slider to 300 so you can see it's just spacing it out so well, this is one that is probably easier to just type in if if you want to be exact 300 and that's it close that Okay, come back here come back into the painting layer and we are going to set the opacity again this might be faster 40 choose normal it's on normal I just entered to get that 40 in there normal choose a dark brown color dark brown color just so that hmm, I'm going to deselect yeah something was selected I had to deselect and it starts to work okay so that's how you get the texture in there and that is the finish